Don't be the old school. We say, how can I say I love you to my children? What, what do they mean? You know, I remember the old man, one day I gave a talk about how important it is to say I love you to your wife. He came back to me and he says, I've never ever said I love you to her. But I know she loves me. And I said, uncle, your generation is already gone. You are one of those who are fortunate to have remained behind. <laughs> New generation, you need to say it 20 times a day, minimum, minimum. That's why everything is free. Subhanallah, the internet free, WhatsApp calling free, because they know you have to send it. But the problem is we send it to the wrong number. <laughs> we send it to the wrong number. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us, really. It's something important, something good to learn. Remember to use your tongue, just like dhikr of Allah is a very great act of worship. To say good words to your children is a very great act of worship. One day the Prophet ﷺ kissed Al-Hasan ibn Ali radiallahu anhu when he was a baby. That was his grandson. So Al-Aqra ibn Habis was sitting near him and he says, you kissed your grandson. I have 10 of them. I haven't kissed even one. The Prophet says, man la yarham la yurham. Whoever doesn't show mercy will not be shown mercy. These are my children. These are my grandchildren. I will kiss them. So to kiss your children is a sunnah. It's an act of worship. It is an act of worship. If to kiss your children is an act of worship, imagine what type of an act of worship it would be to kiss your wife, Allahu Akbar, or husband, mashallah. May Allah help us. Please don't do that in public. It needs to be done in private. I always believe those who do it in public, in private, they don't really get along. This is just showing that we get along. Those who really love each other don't need to show, they know.